And if this works out, this is uh, part B of tailpiece tuning. And this part, we're going to make all three areas roughly even. So we know that they're not... Da, da, da. Now, for a tailpiece, uh, it's going to have a certain frequency. In this case, it's the same as the top plate, which is 213. Sounds like this is higher than that. And we'll just use our base bar, top plate, tap reference, and to see what this says. I'll let the uh, top plate amplify it. I can hear it. That's a bit low. That's low. That's quite a bit lower, so all these are going to have to come up. All right, so that's kind of our general guide. Our job now is to make these all roughly even. So from the acoustical center, we're going to draw a line from there and we're going to draw one down this way. So the parts of the tailpiece that are affecting the tap tone frequency out here is all in this little triangle. Um, so we don't want to touch these mode 5 lines. And of course we want to leave our acoustical center. So I'm going to take a little scraper and I'm going to listen to see how the, if the, how the tone changes here kind of going from the acoustical center out. It's a little bit low on this side. And that means that this is going to be a little too high on this side. So because it's low here, it's going to be high there. It's going up a little bit. So that means we're going to take more material off near the line. And we'll taper it back to the acoustical center. As you can imagine, it actually doesn't take very much wood to change this. For the acoustical center, it doesn't hurt at all to draw a line off to the side so you can reestablish this whenever you want to. Now, just that little bit we took off, and listen to the difference in it. So now we have all three areas, and we've actually met our goal already. Now you notice we're not actually tuning yet. These areas here on the side, that'll be left for um, part D or step four. So this is part two. We're just making these even. Okay, so that's uh, as simple as that. Stop.